All right, guys, let's get to our last uh, medalist for today. It's for the commons. Top 10 commons that are still pretty good in this game today. You can lose them on ladder. They'll actually do some work. You can actually enjoy your time with them. And if they take you far from the lower leagues into the top elite leagues, trust me, there's a reason why I made this list, so you guys get a better understanding of it. So let's get started with uh, Movie Yellow here. Number 10, really strong leader. I don't think she's really changed that much, but she always remained on this meta common list for a long time. You know, still one of the great movie rangers, had great combos, KO kick, where it used to do nothing, then it had stagger, it was the best attack in the game, did ground pound. I mean, she did get a big nerf on her head, but you know, being five cost, I mean, look at the damage on that, that's kind of sad. But, you know, Movie Trini still knows how to put in that work, and that's why she makes it to this list. She has free combos with that KO kick into ground pound twice, and the damage output can look even crazy with said character. TJ, obviously, you know, he's the turtle. Number nine here, Turtle Man. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you turn with TJ, you can win a lot of matches. But, you know, sometimes TJ can play a good aggressive uh, feat thanks to his two specials. His Star Struck and his Rising Star Strike. They really know how to do some work, these the, these assists, honestly. These assists, these attacks. Uh, but yeah, you know, Ashrax combo, Stellar Smash, all that's good. Star Struck. Millsock giving him a lot of combo advantage after his Rising Star Strike. It, TJ's actually been a really good common ever since, too. Where, you know, we never get good commons anymore. Now we just get epics and legendaries that somehow come out like crap. But, you know, TJ still remains on top of the biggest copycat character, but it's still a good character nonetheless. Kendall makes the list ever since she got a sweep on that bayonet slasher. Honestly, it does sweep the opponent, but it is predictable at certain points. Gun bash being predictable as well. A lot of other things are predictable. You just got to anticipate it and get ready to hit the block button. But that's a lot of these comms. Most of them are like that, where some are pretty quick hits that you can try to poke your shield out of your opponent, but Kendall's no different. Her attacks are amazing. Her damage output is great. Bayonetta Slasher having a sweet gives you a lot more combo potential. Reverse Blast doing some good work damage. That's what I call a good character in this type of league we have here, you know? Number seven, I mean, Billy. Billy puts in that work. Billy's a great character, honestly. Uh, you know, Vaulting Kick pushing your opponent back, which gives you Power Lance Pull. Now if we get Trent's freaking Dash Punch, to have a pushback, that'd be great too. But I'll wait till anyone actually does try to actually do some real fixes here and there for some of the legendaries that feel very low tier and so on and so forth. But Billy definitely makes this list, being a really strong leader that he is. Balding Kick going into everything else is amazing. Billy has the combos and the potentials to kick ass, take names, making him a great common in this meta we have, and you can still use him, you know? Next, number six. Ew. Number six, honestly, I can give it to Trini. She's, she, she's great, honestly. Uh, ever since she or her um, claw counter, you know, cause stun, you can go into flying dagger, you can do your shining shining blade attack, spinning blades and um, tiger strike. I mean, thank God for the stun, you can actually do Trini's combos, what they're supposed to be. And that just says a lot about, at least they fix something in the common section, but they also fix more, which you're gonna see later or talk about later but yeah trini definitely makes this list definitely in the top six of great commons to use in this game still all right let's get to our pretty much five people here we're gonna start off with cassie yeah cassie can't. i'm gonna give jason number five on jason is number five because again he he, he he does have a quick attack don't get me wrong he has a quick karate kick but you know when it comes to well you know, cry kick's not as quick, but it's, you know, blockable to the point Jason dies from it. Uh, triple kick, yes, it's your quick poke to bait out blocks, all that good stuff. Jason makes top five because he does crit pretty high on his damage output. With rising power slash, it does great damage. Jason hasn't changed much besides, you know, being a good common that he is. So if you tie it up, don't feel bad because he actually gets away with a lot of that cry kick. People still fall for it here and there, and that's what's kind of nice. So it just shows, like, ah, oh, Jason's fine the way he is, nothing really to change. Everything flows good with this character ever since the beginning of Legacy Wars. And that just says a lot. Besides, you know, damage buffs and all that. But Jason definitely comes out 
you know, with a vengeance. Ah, Cassie. Let me tell you. Cassie coming in number four here. Very interesting character. Sometimes you have the turtle against her, or sometimes she is the turtle lead. The thing about Cassie is once she pulls off turbo charge kick, you're pretty much screwed because of turbo wind fire and a lot of assist damage coming your way. Cassie's always been about the turbo kick. It's always been about turbo charge. Wind chaser's just there to bait out blocks, which is a good thing. That's what I liked about this so-called common that should have just been a freaking rare or just an epic for how much, you know, how much flow she has in her moveset. And, you know, just all that other nonsense. Cassie didn't feel like a common when she released. She felt like a damn epic at best or even a legendary for the amount of work and combo shoes she was able to pull in as a character. So let's get to our, honestly, top three here. Ryu... I mean, I can't say anything else besides Ryu definitely makes top three for being still a strong Street Fighter. Shield and Shoryuken going into combos of Joden, Sankureki, and Sokudo, and all that other good stuff Ryu has. I mean, ever since, you know, Mobile Master, he's the most OP character destroyed by my Lord Dragon, yours truly. And uh, Ryu's just been like that strong of a character, even for a common character. If you own him, you're going to have a good time on the ladder. He's still strong today. You can do some work with that Sokudo kick. It's pretty decent speed, too, for a breaker. And you get away with so much, it's ridiculous. Ryu's definitely a great character. Legit, as one of the co top commons. Knows how to put in that work. Does great combos. It's, it's a crazy character, honestly. Believe it or not, I'm putting Sledge in this top three. Because Sledge is a really good character. Just for the fact, not even from, I mean, if you just look at it, you look at my tournaments, I mean, you see people play Sledge, he knows how to put in that work as a common, you know. Blindside and Darkness Frenzy, all that, where he has a quick cancel on the second hit. Sledge has a lot of utensils, especially now that Breaker and Projectiles became legit. That Breaker Bounty Barrage actually does a lot of work now, finally. Where it was like, oh, the damage is crap, like, oh my god, now the damage is good, they really improved it by a crap ton. That was a great buff they ever gave Sledge, honestly, given that damage buff. Seriously, Sledge is a very, very great fighter, too. So if you have him as your common, you're going to have a good time winning some matches with him. Because honestly, everything he does is really good. Very good combo character. Blindside goes into everything. Bounty Barrage goes into everything. Darkness Frenzy. You know, Darkness Frenzy can only go into the Breakers. But Matt Mercenal Volley can go into after every other Breaker. Because the more you have them on a push-up, the better it is. That's why Switch kind of makes the top two. I mean, listen, like, what do you want me to say? Putty would, was going to be number one on this list regardless because of the nice update he got from Enway with the Gia thing. But Putty makes it number one on his common, you know, common frenzy list here. Ever since they gave Boulder Barrage a stun stun after every punch, I mean, this character became the best JoJo character in Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Everything he did was crazy. Seismic Quake doing work. Rubble Rouser. Like, all this, all this energy is perfect for a character. Very, very flowy. All of it combos. Everything just works. Putty is like a really well balanced fighter that can do all of his moves and won't have to suffer recoil too much. But that's what makes Putty just really good, really OP, really lovable. He's a big rock boulder, and Putty became number one on the meta of the comments. Putty knows what he's doing. Putty's got counters. Putty's got stuns. Putty's that freaking good in this game, and it's just crazy how far he's come from, you know, like a bad rock monster. Like, oh, he'll struggle because he has to get pop-ups. Now he doesn't even need a pop-up. He just goes boulder barrage, all his moves combo after. This character is a combo fiend on his own, which makes him an S-Class Lone Warrior, believe it or not in a Lone Warrior segment later on in the future when we have to retackle this. But yeah, Putty is a very strong Lone Warrior now because of this. Every one of his moves, everything is great. Everything works. Putty is definitely number one on this is just because he's a very high-flowing common. He does everything on his own. And everything doesn't... The only thing that recoils is if your opponent blocks, he blocks, but if you pull off uh, your Rubble Rouse, you pull off the Bree Toss, any of these moves causes combos and Putty just goes ham. It's like a, one of the greatest common characters in... Pounder's Legacy Wars next to, like, you know, the top 10. But you know Putty's going to take the number one spot for a lot of reasons, guys. And I think all of you would know that. All right, guys. I'm out. Here's your comment list. I hope you enjoyed the video and my ranting. Be good. Stay safe. I'll see you all in another time.
for another 2020 list after a couple months when anime decides to actually release, you know, actual more characters that are decent so the list can update. Yeah. 